right. I got my my plant planted. <laughs> my hydrangea zero in on it a little bit here. Followed all the instructions on the package. All right. What else do I have out here? Let's find out. Looks like I have some daffodils coming up there. And, uh, oh, I forget the name of this one. Something about a four o'clock. Some daisies coming up there. Some, I forget what this is, but it has furry, furry leaf. Ooh, pretty leaf. I can't remember what I planted there. I'd have to go back and look at some videos from last summer. That one's a snapdragon. A daffodil back there that's trying to bloom before it <laughs> gets a stem. And this, I thought it was a hollyhock, but it never did grow up to be one. Yes, hollyhock type leaves. That's my butterfly bush. These are all my cat mints coming up here. I have ground cover and I really have no idea what this is, but I like it. And then the other ground cover that pretty soon this will be brilliant yellow all over and not just flower or two. There's some more daffodils coming up in there. And of course my irises. I need to get in there I guess and pull out all those old leaves. More daffodils there. And there are tulips I think those are. I pulled out all the dead sticks from the calendula. I don't see any signs of it coming back. The ones over in my garden area are obviously coming back. But these I'm not so sure about. This I think might be um, well, what's that purple flower? I can't remember. <laughs> borage. Borage, I knew I'd think of it. Maybe. What else did I have planted here? I can't remember where I had some seeds planted. And I, I'm hoping that I have a, um, a canacea that's gonna come up kind of right over in there somewhere. There was just a little speck of something that looked like it might be alive. Okay, I need to take my pots over to the garden area and get them all replanted with things. That one has a nice plant still growing in it. Good. This is sideways because the hole on the bottom got all plugged up and it got full of water. I'm thinking I'm going to plant my sweet potatoes in this come summer. I'll come as soon as it's not going to frost at night. That's what my thought is. And I should have some Jerusalem artichokes coming up, but I don't see any signs of life here yet either. I don't know when those should come up. So that's what this part looks like. Looks a little bare this time of year. Over here I always have tons of daffodils. They'll be in bloom soon. Looks like my cactus has made it through the winter. The pot they were in is another question though. I'll have to figure out what I'm gonna plant this in. Because that pot needs to be repurposed for something other than being a pot. And just another view of my garden. I took all the covers off just so we can see everything. I 
decided where to put all my little my little pets. They'll be okay sitting there for the time being. Till I decide where to put them. Okay, the plant, the flower that's always right in here that I can never, well, I don't know the name of it. It's the fuzzy one that I saw over on the other area. I'd forgotten that I planted one, that I drug one up and put it over there. It didn't look so hot toward the end of last summer, so I didn't know it was gonna take, but it obviously did. And my mint right here is starting to come back. I don't see my lemon balm plant so far, but hopefully it comes back. I've got one more thing I really wanna show you. And here we go. These are all my garlics that I planted last fall. I was worried that they weren't gonna come up, but they are coming up. I have a whole bed full of garlics. And I have a few over here too. If I remember right, the ones over here are the ones that were just some garlics that I'd saved from what I grew the year before. But the ones here were the ones that I bought. And then I've got some kale. I guess that's what that is. It looks like looks like kale that survived the winter. So I could actually come out and pluck that one and eat it. Mm, yummy. This is this is where my corn was last year. I think I've decided I'm going to plant my potatoes in here. I haven't picked up any seed potatoes yet, but I'll get some. And if I plant this whole thing with potatoes, that should give me a pretty good crop of potatoes. So I'll need to come out and make sure I give that some nutrition so that they'll grow well. I see I have a couple of stray onions that I'm fairly sure those are onions. Almost looks like daffodils, but I think they're onions that are coming through there. Oh, I accidentally turned that on, so I guess I'll say something. I uncovered this. I had um plastic and row cover on this. I think I'll leave it uncovered here. It looks like we're doing well. I believe this is charred. It looks like charred to me. I had tried to plant turnips and radishes and stuff in here. Didn't seem to have much luck. But the chard's doing okay. So I'll go ahead and I think I'll leave the row cover for a day or so, get it used to. So, that's my adventure outside today. I may, it's only noon-ish, so I may at some point actually comb my hair <laughs> and go out and move those pots that are out by the mound where I was working over so that they can be refurbished and planted with something if they don't have something coming up in them. And right now I'm just going to sit and rest for a while, decide what I'm going to have for lunch. So that's all I'm going to do for a video today. Unless I change my mind, of course, which is my prerogative. So anyway, for now, that's all I'm going to do. So I will... I'll get signed off here, and I hope that you are having a good day. May the good Lord richly bless you, and I will see you on my next video. Bye.